Hey everyone, I absolutely do not like what is going on at Campi Flegri as I am speaking right now. There is another large earthquake swarm happening right now. We're still in the middle of it. It has not even ended yet. So I want to start this video by showing you the up-to-date earthquake list of the INGV and check this out here guys. And I have said it in my last video, also when you look at this list, you see that Vesuvius is always in between. So that, in my opinion, is also something that is a little bit um, not so great, that we also see an increased activity of Vesuvius. But check this out, Campi Flegre did something the last time on October 2nd. So there it was just a 1.1. And remember guys, this list, I've sorted it, it only shows you the earthquakes that are above magnitude 1. That doesn't mean that we have way more smaller ones, right? I'm not listing them. We're talking about the bigger ones right now. And check out this list. So it started basically um, on October 5th. And this earthquake swarm basically started right off with a 2.4 at a depth of 3 kilometers at Campi Flegre. These epicenters are again around the fishing town of Pozzuoli and the Solfatara. That's the most active crater that is there out of these over 24 craters that Campi Flegre forms. Campi Flegre is not like Vesuvius, a steep mountain. Campi Flegre is quite flat, stretching out, so that's why it's so densely populated, even on the rims of these craters, because people weren't even aware what this is, right? So 2.4 happened at basically 6 a.m. in the morning and it was followed right away by a 1.5 and then shortly after just a minute another 1.5 and another minute later Eddie and another minute later a 1.0 and then the same minute just 10 seconds later a 1.2 and then Almost two hours later at 7.53 a.m., another 1.7. So if during the time that I'm making this video or I'm editing this video, I will update this list. So it might be that there might be even more earthquakes that I'm not naming right now, but you'll see them here on the list. So the latest that I see while we're speaking right now is a 1.7 at a shallow depth of only one kilometer. And a second study just came out and confirmed that there is a shallow magma body and it's magma, not gases or fluid. It's magma that it is at a very shallow depth underneath Campi Flegri, And that is never good because that that shows us magma has been rising and that has been causing this Brady seism, how they call it, this land rise. The land is lifting up because there is magma coming towards the surface and only four to four and a half kilometers away from the surface, it is easier for magma to break through through the surface. And we've seen something like this in the 1980s, but it ended with a magma intrusion, how it's called, when magma's rising up, but the cap rock layer that's there kept the lid on, prevented the magma from erupting. But that cap rock layer since the 1980s has lost two thirds of its stability. So it has only one third of the stability left that it had in the 1980s to keep that magma from erupting. So that is why it's so concerning. And that magma, this is what the scientists are saying, is already in an explosive state. So if it reaches the surface, it goes like boom, right? And I have told you in my last video that they are planning a volcanic eruption evacuation rehearsal. Finally, they were only talking about Brady seism earthquakes the last few months, right? Trying to do do like evacuation rehearsals for earthquakes but scientists said you have to rehearse the worst case scenario so now they announced that they would be doing this early october and mid-october 
And then in the last INGV, Italian Institute for Geophysics and Volcanology bulletin, weekly bulletin, they said in the month, in the last month, basically what they saw is that the land rise of the Sprady Sizem has gone back from two centimeters a month to one centimeter a month. So in mid-April, it kept doubling from one to two centimeters but that doesn't mean anything it's still rising and some say it's already accelerating again and so many thought maybe it's calming down but it isn't before we we saw this earthquake swarm even yesterday the director of the Vesuvius Observatory that is local, that is there to observe Vesuvius and Campi Flicri, and they're basically a one entity with the INGV. So he's the director, and I wanna show you what quote he said, because he was meeting with officials um, talking about the planned evacuation rehearsal. So he said, and he said that quote, he didn't even try to wrap it into a bunch of flowers to not make people panic too much. Nope. He said, quote, the volcano is not calm. Let's not fool ourselves that it's over. And he said that before the current earthquake swarm, right? So because there were some reports that said, oh, yeah, maybe, you know, nope absolutely not so he said that at a meeting with citizens because now they are of the opinion it's important that the citizens know about this that they prepare themselves that they take this serious because at the last earthquake evacuation rehearsal just a few weeks ago in Pozzoli they wanted like 30,000 people to show up 30 people did show up, right? People were like, we've had enough. We've had all these tall earthquakes that we felt we were running out on the streets. We were spending the night without water in just tents. We're done, right? We have rehearsed this enough. But now volcanic rehearsal scenario. So it takes a lot for the director of the Vesuvius Observatory to make such a statement because he hasn't made something like this in the past. So he also said the Campi Flegre volcano has been in a long period of non-quiet, right? It has been at yellow level since 2012. There is seismic activity. There is ground deformation. Yeah, the land is rising. And there's strong geothermal activity. There's degassing and very very intense thermal activity. We do not delude ourselves that the reduction in the speed of ground deformation or the reduction in the number of earthquakes, that hasn't aged well, can make us think that the phenomenon is over. Indeed, and he says, nothing has changed in the dynamics of the volcano. And wow, was he correct? Because just a day later, we are in the next seismic event, the next earthquake swarm, and it's already a larger one with many earthquakes, right? He further said, and that's quote again, he said, the volcano is showing an ongoing dynamic that we are following 24 hours a day. And they have a lot of seismic stations all over Campi Flegre. If you've seen my last video, check it out about the U.S., about the state of Washington near Tacoma, Seattle, Olympia. There is one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. He is in the list of the 16 most dangerous volcanoes. And this is Mount Adams, and it shows a uh, very, very strange high number of earthquakes. So check this video out and they, but what I wanted to say is they only have one, 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 one 
seismic measuring station there. They can't measure gases, anything. So they don't really know what's going on. They just release, yeah, yeah, the volcano is at green level when it comes to degassing and seismic activity, but we don't really know because we don't have any stations there. That is not the case with Campi Flegre. Since Campi Flegre also stretches into the water, they have buoys with underwater seismic meters that can measure all that, right? Because there could be an eruption coming from underwater as well. That will be even more catastrophic because it could send a tsunami towards the coast of Naples. That could be 100 feet or 30 meters high. So what the director of the Vesuvius Observatory is saying here shows us, I think we have reached a next level of seriousness. So he said, we are following this 24 hours a day, which is absolutely great. But he says, we need to work hard on this. So he says, we even need to do better or more. That's how I interpret this. And he said, the speed of the uplift has slowed down for a month and a half. And the effect is immediately visible because there is less seismic activity. He said that yesterday. Like I said, that has an age well. We're right in there, right? Which is not good. I hate that. So he says then yesterday, but the driving force of the dynamic, that is the gassing is continuing. The magma is rising up. And the fumaroles in the Solfatara area, where they think that this is the most likely location for a potential eruption, these steam fumaroles, right? They're sending out hot steam. People that live nearby, they say they smell an increased sulfur in the air. So something is going on. So the press was wording this meeting very carefully. They said, well, this meeting took place and the officials, they illustrated the phenomena, phenomena, um, volcanic, super volcanic eruption that could occur and the methods and timing of the exercise, right? So um, you see that map here. This is basically the red area. And what they've done is you see that black line. That's the largest highway that they have available. And the yellow stars, these are basically access points. So what they want to do is they want to create artificial routes by blocking off side streets so that people have to go or they have no other choice than to go to these yellow stars. And they have also, and you see this, this map, um, divided this area into smaller parcels and then each parcel gets a direction you go to this star you go to this star you go to that one yellow star that's in the east those people will take the boat i have made a detailed video about this evacuation plan check out my campi flegri playlist there's everything you need to know so i'm not going deeper into this today um, but this is what they want to rehearse basically if that works so they're saying this test will serve to test the operational response in the event of volcanic risk within the Campi Flegri National Evacuation Plan. So yeah, I think this is badly needed and I think people really, really need to take this serious and the press, the local press in Italy is also already reporting about this earthquake swarm. And basically what they're saying that Campi Flegri saw a new earthquake swarm at first light in the morning. And uh, what they are saying, they're talking about the first one. An earthquake magnitude 2.4 was recorded in Campi Flegri today, Saturday, October 5th, 6 a.m. The sensors of the Vesuvius Observatory are recording this earthquake in the area of the caldera, the Solfatara, where Brady seismic activity has been strong for some years and this sequence of seismic events is widely felt by the population so the first quake 2.4 at a depth of roughly 2.6 kilometers epicenter potsuli this earthquake then was followed by the other ones and they report it was clearly felt by the population so my estimate is, and as we're right in it, that the citizens of Pozzuoli went out on the street again, right? You see, 
in the last big one that happened in May, the 4.4, the largest one in at least 40 years, cracks occurred in the homes and damages occurred in the homes. Some homes were locked up by the officials, said they need upgrade or repairs or something like this. So it, it was really serious. People spent the nights out on the streets. Some were very angry because they felt that the response of the civil defense was not accurate or non-existent. The head of the civil defense has been replaced by now. So they want to do more. And then the further report, this came just out while we're speaking, is that the epicenter, yes, of the big one and of the other ones probably as well, is estimated to be in Pozzuoli. But if you look at the map, just underneath the Naples Ring Road, and that is the road I believe they also want to use for evacuation. So if the volcano erupts there, what do you do then? Because that Naples ring road, that is called the Tangenziale di Napoli. That is the evacuation route. This is where the yellow stars are. This is, I mean, then you can just throw your whole evacuation plan into the garbage bin. If the volcano erupts right there, then your road is gone. Then there, you can only go in one direction and that is towards Vesuvius. And if Vesuvius can be triggered by the tremors and the shaking of Campi Flegri, I made another video about this, guys. Sorry, I put this in the end screen. You should watch this because this is not unlikely, right? I'm not saying this is going to happen, but Naples unfortunately has a little bit of the bad card here because more than 3 million people are located in the middle of Vesuvius and Campi Flegri, which is not really very good so to speak, right? So when I see that map and when I see where the epicenter here is, I'm really thinking as if the volcano knew what they're planning to do. And he's sending them a sign and said, well, hold my beer. Now I'm sending you the earthquake right underneath your main evacuation route. This makes me feel uneasy. It's kind of sad. It's kind of terrifying. I have to say that. So when I saw that, um, yeah, that is not really good. It is concerning, guys. I I have no other words for this, um, especially for the ones that follow my channel and that follow what's going on in Iceland. We always know if there's a land rise and we know there is a magma body that is filling up, it can eventually end up with an eruption. And uh, I don't see this thing slowing down. And uh, so what to do in that event, that is really difficult guys i don't know many of you are saying people should leave now but this is not so easy right what if nothing happens they have evacuated decades ago and then nothing happened right so that's why i think they're a little hesitant to raise the alert level right it could disturb people it could disturb tourism it could bring the housing market to a crash so and if then nothing happens people will be very very angry right and the question also is will they really leave a lot of people have indicated that they do not want to leave, that they have all their family ties, their large families, and it's Italian culture. You don't leave anyone behind. So they're either all leaving or nobody's leaving. And then there's grandma and grandpa that say, no, nope, we want to stay here. And basically then everyone's stuck sort of thing. So I'll keep an eye on this for you guys. I'll be on the polls of this. Stay safe, be prepared, guys. That's all I can say. And check out these videos here. It's very, very interesting. If you want to see what happened to me basically last night when I was sitting on my couch and I felt my couch is lifting me up, it's flying in the air with me sort of thing. Um, there was an earthquake and I made a video right away. So that's in the end screen as well. And uh, I hope to see you soon. If you want to support the channel, it's greatly appreciated. Check out the links in the description here. And uh, guys, become a member of this channel for exclusive behind the scenes um, videos and updates and information. So thanks, guys. Bye bye.